Hey everyone, it's Gracie with all those things I love.com. A friend of mine, Wendy, has started a new YouTube channel with her friend Megan. Uh, it is called Long Story Short. They recently did a fall tag with prompts provided by Mama's Losing It, so I thought I would join in. Question one, favorite fall scent. The thing that comes to mind is the smell of burning pumpkin. And uh, you know when people used to, in the olden days, uh, light their jack-o'-lanterns with a candle rather than a LED light. Uh, the candle would cause the top part of the pumpkin to uh, burn a little bit and that smell is very reminiscent of Halloween in the fall. Other than that, I think it would be the absence of lighter fluid from my neighbor's constant grilling. But I will have that until probably the middle of November. Question two, best way to spend a rainy day. Now this is gonna sound a little OCD and I am definitely not an OCD person except when I leave the house. That's about the only time OCD kicks in for me. My favorite way to spend a rainy day or any cool day for that matter is organizing. I love to tear open a closet that hasn't been touched in a while. It gives you a chance to relive uh, memories and also get rid of crap you don't need. I would say organizing a closet would be my favorite way to spend a rainy day. Question three, favorite fall drink? Uh, once again, it doesn't get hot here in Southern California until later in November. Um, so I would say my favorite fall drink is my favorite summer drink, and that is a passion tea lemonade half sweet in the Trenta size, please. Don't go in for the pumpkin spice latte. Uh, Chai tea latte is probably uh, the closest I get to a fall drink, and I, I drink that iced almost every morning. Question four, football, yay or nay? Um, wow. It doesn't deserve a yay, but yes, we watch a lot of football. Sunday, Monday, Thursday, whatever night it's on, there's football on our TV. As far as being excited for football, um, given all the recent news uh, allegations of abuse to uh, kids and to women, can't say I'm all for the NFL right now. But yeah, Denver Broncos, uh, Peyton, woohoo, uh, allegations of abuse, bad. Question five, favorite article of clothes in the fall? I love scarves. I have probably 50 scarves. They're great to add uh, interest to a simple gray t-shirt or uh, just any anything they provide nice warmth and comfort um, but yeah once again mid-november I can uh, pull out those scarves and uh, also my boots I have a nice collection of boots but unfortunately it's just too hot to wear them right now question six haunted house haunted hayride or haunted corn maze Never seen a haunted corn maze. That actually sounds kind of fun, but it's probably like a haunted house where they jump out at you, right? A uh, haunted hayride also sounds fun. Never seen one of those in my area. Um, but haunted house, I've been to one or two when I was younger. Um, I think they ramp up the scariness factor now, so I don't think I'd want to do a haunted house. Uh, there's always not scary farm, which if you're a Southern California, Resident is almost a requirement for Halloween. The employees get very into their characters. A little bit terrifying. I haven't been in a while. Probably last time was about five years ago. The park was very crowded. It's something you've got to do. If you're in SoCal, you've got to check out Not Scary Farm. Number seven, the scariest movie you've ever seen. Well, I think the original Halloween is still one of the scariest movies I've seen. There's a new trailer, something about a doll, and the husband buys the wife the doll. I don't even know the name of the movie. Uh, no chance I'm gonna see that. Maybe if it's on HBO during the day, I'd watch it. Number eight, favorite candy to eat on Halloween. Anything except for black licorice, and maybe Smarties, and Necco wafers, and marshmallow based. Anything else, I'm good with. Number nine, what will your kids or you be for Halloween this year? Well, given my current hair color, I think Ariel or maybe Sally Skellington is in order for me. My kids both have a lot of hair. These are dogs. My new Pembroke Welsh Corgi, Ginger, will probably be a princess or maybe uh, some superhero. 
Uh, Griffy, my 10 year old cardigan Welsh Corgi, like his prince costume. Long flowing purple robes and a golden crown. Number 10, favorite fall recipe. I'm lucky in the fact that I don't cook. I might leave that all up to my husband. So uh, if I can find him a good recipe, he'll make it for me. <laughs> Question 11, what is your favorite thing about fall? Um, I like the cooler temperatures. I just wish they would get here sooner. I, I'm not a warm weather person. If it gets over 78 degrees, I start getting crabby. So I'm looking forward to 65 degree days. One thing I'm not looking forward to that we have in California in the fall is Santa Ana winds, which are very, very dry, hot winds that also increase the fire danger. What I am looking forward to is the colder temperatures. When they do arrive, I'm predicting November 18th, it'll hit. 65 degrees in SoCal. During the day, night, 50. And number 12, who else would I like to see complete the I Heart Fall tag? I would have to say my friends like mother, like daughter. And I know I still owe you an ALS ice bucket challenge, but i um, kind of waiting until I won't make everything pink. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe below and you can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at at those things I love, no E at the end of love, and stop by my blog, all those things I love.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.